life in prison. A convicted felon given that sentence for his role in a shooting that killed a four-year-old boy. It is a day the child's mother wasn't sure would ever come. I waited six long years to at least get one. I mean, I know there's others, but to know that I have one down and two to go, I'm almost at the light. A group of suspects are accused in her son's shooting, but today our camera was the only one there as the sentence for one man was read. It comes one day before the sixth anniversary of the murder of four-year-old Dorovian Whitley. Erica Hernandez with the reaction from Dorovian's mother and what's next in this case. Based on the evidence that I have before me that was presented, uh, I sentence you to life imprisonment. No reaction from Terrell Chase as that life sentence was given for a felon in possession of a firearm charge. 437 District Court Judge Joel Perez was able to enhance punishment because Chase was a habitual offender. This case all a part of the deadly drive-by shooting that killed four-year-old Irvion Whitley on July 19th, 2017. More than 60 shots were fired into the home Whitley was in with his brother and mother. You have the audacity to come in this courtroom with the little kid smirk, like everything is a joke. Dr. Olvion's mother, Sintwanisha Marshall, was able to face Chase after sentencing, something she's been waiting six years to do. You will never understand how much I, as a mother, forgive you. From me to you, I pray for you every day. Chase is still facing that murder charge, but no word yet from the district attorney's office on how that will be handled. I can't comment on any future litigation because we still have many cases in process, so uh, we will um, cross that bridge when we come to it. No date has been set for Terrell Chase on that murder charge yet, but he also has another charge pending in this case that is a deadly conduct with a firearm charge. Also, there is no date set for that one. Erica Hernandez, case at 12 News. Now, the other two co-defendants charged with D'Urvion's murder are John Chapman and Quinton Phillips. Both men are scheduled to be in court on September 15th. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.